All right, it says I am live. Who knows if I am yet, but nevertheless, I hope I am. This is an impromptu live stream, wasn't planned. Not planned for the audience, wasn't planned for me. So if you're watching this after the fact, I'll go ahead and kind of give you the rundown of what's going on with me while we wait on some people to get in the live stream chat box. So I come out this morning, gonna do some ultralight fishing, maybe do an ultralight video. Brought my camera with me, started things, tore up. So I'm <laughs> like, hell with it. I ain't, I ain't with that camera today. I got my phone with me. I'm like, I'll just go live. I wasn't gonna fish long this morning. The wind's supposed to be bad within the next couple hours, but it's calm right now. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage this morning and catch some fish. And, and you know, with the camera tore up, I'm like, let's just go live. Let's see who's on here first thing in the morning. I don't know, it's a Saturday. Again, I didn't announce this, wasn't planning on going live. I don't know if anybody would be on here, but for those of you who's watching after the fact, let's see if we can catch some fish on video right here. Looks like we got, well, we got 50 people in here already in the first minute. So uh, yeah, some people's, there's obviously some people online this morning. That's, that's what we're hoping to see here. I'm gonna turn the camera around this way so y'all can get the first person view. And I'm gonna be doing some ultralight fishing today. I'm gonna be catching whatever I can catch, whatever wants to bite. I'll do my best to keep up with the chat box for the live stream audience, but mainly it's gonna be, uh, mainly it's gonna be me reeling in some fish here, most likely, and right here, right here we go. I got hit. Who all we got in the chat box? Hey, there's Kevin's trophy cat and Bassin. Hey, he's a club member, what's going on? There's my mom, I guess she got, I, I messaged her, told her my damn camera tore up. I was just gonna go live this morning. I got bad luck with technology lately, y'all. Here's a fish. Oh man, I lost another one right there. Everything I touch, electronics lately, tears up. I bought a, them power poles back in the summer. I've had two warranty claims on those. Then uh, I was fishing a bass tournament last month and my trolling motor remote tore up. I bought that new DJI action camera. When it came out, it was messed up. Had to send it back. Just bought the GoPro 11, thought I'll try it out. First time I used it this morning. Got the screen of death locked up on me. You take the battery out put it back in, turn it back on, stuck. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Brand new, first time I used it. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my thing with the phone here. If I catch some fish, right here, here's one. We're getting a skunk out here. Boy, that's a small one too. Don't tell me he ate that jig that day. On the phone. Okay, I see it there. I'm gonna get that back. Look at this. He's tried to flush himself down the down the drain there. I got my line all cattywampus. We're gonna get it together here directly, y'all. There we go. Oh, he's ready to go. So. uh yeah, this morning ain't off to a ain't off to a great start technology wise, but I am gonna try to catch a fish before this wind hits today. It's supposed to be here in a couple hours. It's gonna move through and have 20, 30 mile an hour gusts today. Oh, somebody hit me with some cash there. Was that Riley Taylor? He says two streams back to back. Look, just because Tennessee is ranked number one doesn't need you to go crazy on us. Got to give you heck for it. Stay safe. Well, thanks, Riley. I appreciate that. Yeah, Riley, again, it wasn't, wasn't my intention to go live this morning. It was my intention to catch some fish, though. And 
If I can't do it on a GoPro, I might as well just do it on my phone with y'all. There's somebody out there that wants to watch this morning. There's Evan Stewart. He says, hey, Justin, let's go Vols Rocky Top, baby. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'm going to be watching that game today. You can, you can bet your butt on that. My plan this morning, I was going to come out and catch a few fish here first thing before the wind hits. And then I was going to go home and mulch some leaves because I did it last week. Here's another one. I did leaves last week, and you can't even tell I've done anything. So I'm trying to stay on top of them. Oh, it's a nice one right here, man. It's a nice one right here. Let me dedicate this into Riley Taylor. Hit me with a super chat there, first thing. Riley, that one right there is for you, buddy. That's a nice bluegill. Nice bluegill right there. I'm fishing a down tree at the moment. For those of you that watch my second channel, my highlights channel, I posted a raw and uncut ultralight video back when I had a working camera. Here's another one. And I fished this tree and got a bunch of fish on it. So I wanted to come over here today and hit it again, see if they're still here. And by gosh, they are. Oh, oh, easy fish. Easy, you know, easy, easy, calm it down. Let me hit that other, where was that other super chat there from Evan Stewart. Let's dedicate him that, that fish right there. Tell Evan, thanks fish. That fish ain't gonna tell you nothing, Evan. Lord CP Outdoors hit me with a 499. Says, love your videos. Just got home from chasing the bad guys all night. Well, I hope you got a few of them there, CP Outdoors. I'm gonna catch a bad bluegill here in a second. If I do, I'm gonna dedicate it to you. I thought I was getting one right there, I got hit. Let me let that thing sink back down a second. These leaves are making it challenging to get a jig down. They're catching, catching my line as it sinks and stopping the fall of that jig. I gotta make a perfect cast and y'all know casting ain't my strong point. Let me see who that other one was. Oh, oh, here comes one for CP Outdoors. He nailed it. He ain't very big, but he nailed it. I felt. Oh. Fish, tell CP Outdoors thank you for his contribution this morning. Look at that. Oh, bluegill. Lord almighty, y'all done hit me up with $35. Hell, that's more than I made on my last ultralight video. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Edwards, hit me with a super sticker. Thank you. $20. Man, thank you, Jimmy. Kevin's trophy bassin' and cats. That's a pretty gill. No, Lynn Thompson, I don't ever... I don't ever keep anything to eat out here. There's James Shuey. Lord James was in the live stream last night. Douglas Medlin was in there. Oh, got in them leaves again. I believe something had hit me there because it's tore up my gulp. Let's fix this thing back. Yeah, Cody Miller, I know it's, I don't know that we're gonna get any storms here but the wind is supposed to be bad today that's gonna be what we're gonna get come on i'm gonna mosey down here we're gonna start going this way i think trying to find which direction the wind's gonna be i mean the leaves are gonna be the least obnoxious out here lord don't don't tell my mom she needs to be on the payroll <laughs> She'll, she'll be hitting me up for a paycheck there, Kevin. J.H. Catfishing's been having some good success with striped bass, he says. Thomas George, we're going to try, buddy. Try to cast that little 
open window over there. Hey, there's Clint Payne. He's at work again. Him and Stephen Murray, man, they work all the time. They can't ever even fish anymore. Oh, there's one. He hit me. He hit me right then. Let's dedicate this one to Jimmy Edwards. And I get it in. Look at him put the bend in that rod, man. This is another nice one right here. Jimmy! This one's for you, buddy. Tell Jimmy Edwards, thanks for that super chat there, fish. That fish, he he's mouthing it to you. He can't He can't speak. He can't enunciate, but... He wanted you to know he thanks you for it there, Jimmy. Yeah, Scott, I'll be off the water when this wind hits today. I was just going to fish out here this morning. I think it's supposed to be here by like 9 or 10 or something like that. I don't know. It's about 9 o'clock now, I guess. But it's still calm out here. Somebody hit me. David Tidwell. Hit me with 999. He says, having any luck catching any crappie or are you just bluegill fishing? Uh, thank you for that, David. I'm gonna I'm gonna take, you know, whatever I can get today. Bluegill, crappie. It don't matter to me. I haven't been in my ultralight trips recently, I haven't been getting any crappie. I've been getting bluegill and bass and stumbling into skipjack. And I have seen some skipjack busting periodically out here on my on my pedal up through here. It's kind of just been sporadically. I thought it might be a real active morning with this weather coming through today. I thought they might be feeding up ahead of it, but thus far, not so much. Oh, Lord, did I just, I put it right in that branch over here, y'all. This is just like a raw and uncut video, except it's live when I'm doing it. Either way, I'm going to find my way into a branch or two. I got 94 people watching me be snagged right here. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can lose about half them people by the time I get this thing and done. I was about ready to move on from this tree anyhow, so I'll probably just go over here and spook all these fish and try to get this jig back. Yeah, we're down to 91, just like that. I lost three people <laughs> before I can even get myself turned around to go get this jig. I knew it. <laughs> David Tidwell said, be careful out there storming Mississippi since about five this morning. Yeah, some people's getting some bad storms. I hope y'all are safe wherever you're at. Let's go this way. I'm facing this direction now. Let's just let's just go this way. Hey, there's Josh from Carp and Catfish Baits Tips and Tricks. Josh, I done tore up my camera this morning. So I said, hell with it, I'm going live. If I can't film, let's just go live. I had good intentions coming out here, going to catch me some fish, have some fun, do a raw and uncut video with the GoPro, and the GoPro said, not today, Justin, not today. And to that GoPro, I say, don't need you today. Probably need you tomorrow, but don't need you today. Yes, Josh, uh, one. Right, I ordered it the day before the catfish conference and I used it, filmed a video and the screen was blurry. Whatever the lens issue they got going on, I had it, I had the problem. So I sent that one back. I ended up taking a chance and buying another one. I didn't mention it in the video cause I just, I wanted to see if anybody would notice it, but the, ultralight video that I filmed on my second channel, the one I posted to it, was filmed with a second DJI Action 3 camera. 
and I don't have the lens focus issue with it, but I do have an annoyance, I guess would be the word, with the picture quality. Uh, it's got a sun glare that's really bad, and like the water out here today, you like it was bright green. And the camera, you know, unlike the screen doesn't lock up, but I'm not real happy with it either. So then I thought, okay, let me just go buy the, the GoPro 3. So I ordered it. It showed up yesterday. Today, first time turning it on and it tears up. I'm like, it's, it's just not meant to be with me and technology. You know, it's just, I've, I've got some bad Judy on me or something, anything electronic I touch, I'm just tearing up. We got, got a phone that works. <laughs> that's that's something at least, at least the phone works we can go live when I have cell phone servers There's Jeffrey Mullen, Zachary Blanco, John Shackelford, Scott Harbaugh. Do a few shout outs here while I not catch fish. That's them again. We believe as it is to believe this. This boat wake just kind of pushed me up a little close over here. Let me pull all that people for or something. My buffering y'all, for those of you still in, I lost half the audience right there. I must have buffered or something. Interesting. Oh. Well, here comes a bunch of comments in all at once. People's. I must have buffered or something. Yeah, here come like, here come like 20 comments in a row. Oh crap. Damn it, anytime you buffer, it's game over. All right, well I'll tell you what then. If we can't get service going this direction, let's go back the other way. We'll go Apparently I'm working my way out of surface. See, this is why I can't ever drift or anything when I'm doing a catfishing live stream. I can't drift because you go in and out of service and once you buffer, you lose half your audience like I just did. And I didn't, we didn't have many people watching anyway. I just lost half of them. At least maybe with the, at least maybe with the chat. Josh says it's getting better. We'll just go this way then. That's odd. Normally, normally I have pretty good service through here. I guess today's a one of them days. Again, technology and me today. I got bad duty on me. John Shackelford. He said he's here. He's here buffering or not. He's my kind of guy. J.E.H. Catfish and just ordered some of the bait stalkers. Heck yeah. All cast back over there. I spooked them fish probably. 
when I got that jig undone over there, but I'm gonna cast over there again anyway, and I, well, I thought I had me another one. Felt like a bite. Oh man, Toothman32 hit me with 1999. Thank you, Toothman. Toothman's spending his tooth fairy money or something. I appreciate that, buddy. If I ever catch a fish again here, I'm gonna dedicate it to you. Look right here. Right on cue. Oh, no, okay, he's still on there. Oh, he lost it. I thought I lost him. And then my line got tied again. I don't know if it was the same fish or another one snatched it. Tooth man says, I'm at work, so buffer or not, I'm watching. Heck yeah, buddy. Appreciate you making me part of your day. Well, Kevin, I thought Tooth Man was probably uh, something in the in the tooth industry. He's probably he's probably in some kind of dental work. Just based on the screen name, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now that could be a, a false assumption. Right here's him a fish too. Right here's him one. Tooth Man 32. We're gonna get him a fish right here on camera. He hit me with a big old super chat, and I'm grateful for it this fish ain't grateful right now tooth man that fish said he ain't grateful at all that fish tooth man you got any appointments open today because this fish has got a mouth problem after i put that hook in him he may have to come see you today <laughs> that fish he's gonna need a denture because i just took his tooth out make another cast over there Clinton G, 10 spots. Says, good morning, Justin and Mama J. Good luck. Thank you, Clinton. Oh, man. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, Clinton. Tooth Man says he can fix that underbite. <laughs> My old dog, Roscoe, had, a, had an underbite. It was adorable. Way better to have an underbite than a, than a, a snaggle tooth. <laughs> yeah, I have a P.O. box. So I don't ever give it out. It's just where I get my mail at and stuff. Derek Parker says I need to send a tooth man over to the mouses here. That's the truth, buddy. Oh man. That one, I thought I, I thought I'd reeled it into a, this, this is, Clinton G's gonna get him a fish dedicated that's a smallmouth. If I can land him. Oh yeah. I thought I'd ran that jig into a branch and snagged it. Oh, look at that bend, that's nice right there. My drag's too tight, I can tell you that. It's either always too loose or too tight on this reel. I ain't messing with it right now though. We're gonna land this thing for Clinton G. We're getting him a fish here. He hit me with a 10 spot, super generous. Boy, this thing's a digging man. He's got that rod doubled. Oh, small jaw. Come here, small jaw. He's a digging man. It's gonna take my time. That's a nice one. That's a nice smallmouth right there. Oh no, Clinton, I lost your fish right there last second. Oh man. Clinton, I botched it, Clinton. We had it right there to the kayak. I was that close to reaching down to get him and I botched it. That was a nice smallmouth. I was reeling that jig in and I it, you know, it got tight and I thought I just ran it into a branch or something and then it pulled off on me. I'm gonna spin back around here. I'm gonna get repositioned and we're gonna try to do that again. We're just gonna keep going this way, I guess. That way I got at least better cell phone service apparently than what I was having going down the other direction. Well, I instantly lost half the audience. Let me spin you back around this way. Get you all back in the chest here. I know, Bradley. I wish he had have jumped in the. I wish he had have jumped in the kayak. That would have been. 
better than him jumping the other way. Let's, let's go ahead, before we make another cast, let's go ahead and switch this gulp out to. We've been working with that same gulp since I started the live stream, so. Lord, we already at this 26 minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. I ain't having fun with GoPro today. I'm pissed off at them. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And again, I got bad Judy on me or something. Everything I touch is tearing up lately. But is it just me that's having that problem? Or is like the quality of electronics and stuff across the board just being total garbage anymore? Now, like, am I the only one that feels that way? Because I just, I, I don't know. I... I I, I just feel like across the board quality in this country on everything has went way down than what it used to be. Yeah, Chaz man says the same thing. Jage catfishing, so he's had bad luck with GoPro too. Yeah, Brad ass, he's got the same He's got the same problem with the GoPro 10 that I had, and the GoPro 11 clearly ain't no better since I done tore it up on the first use. GoPro, when you order directly from GoPro, they tell you they got a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. But they better have some questions answered because I got some questions to ask them of, of why their cameras suck. I'm going to be sending it back. I don't know, I may have to stick with that DJI Action 3. The color again, it's off. But thus far, when I've used it, it just, it works. You know, and reliability is a big thing with me. I use them Sony cameras forever. Here's another fish. Here's another one. I believe this is the bluegill right here. But my Sony cameras were great. They were reliable, they're just kind of outdated. I can't use the external mic with them. I, I can only go 1080. As far as quality goes, they're just, you know, they're outdated. Look at that one right there. That's another. Oh, he gone just like that. He slipped out the hand. Travis Gentry says the same thing, yeah. Well, I'm glad to know it ain't just me that's having all these problems with electronics and stuff. I don't know what it's going to take to fix our problems here, though. I guess we're just gonna, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with junk. That's what we're gonna have to deal with. Just the way it's gonna be. Hey, we just crossed over 100 people watching. That's more than I had before I buffered. Business is booming in here. Well, set attendance records today. These ultralight, I've tried ultralighting on live streams before. And well, after the last one, I said I'd never do it again because. I felt like my fishing took away from me interacting in the chat box and the chat box took away from me fishing effectively. But I thought, what the heck? It's gonna be a short trip for me today because this wind's gonna be moving in and without being able to film the video I planned on filming, it's like, well, let's just do it. So we're doing it, by gosh. Still getting some fish. That was a nice smallmouth I lost. I hate that I lost that thing. I don't like to held him up there. Travis Gentry, quoting Major Payne, fishing is my business and business is good. <laughs> no, Dalton, I never did. Um, I'll never see that package. You know, on their end, it says it was delivered. And I, I have no doubt it was delivered. It was just delivered to the wrong mailbox. And my neighborhood is half good people and half trash. And I bet it went to a person who's trash in my neighborhood. I got me a list of suspects, but I got to find them straps. I got to see them in use. I know what they look like. They got a distinctive look. Something hit me. Something tapped me then. So I'm going to be on the lookout for them. 
Jim Dishman doing well. There's Mario Guardo from Texas. Mario. That's where I'm going to be. Next Saturday, I'm leaving out. We're a week away. Oh, man. Billy Wilder hit me up with a $2 super chat. He said, I hope you remember my YouTube message. I mean it. Thank you, Billy. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support. Let's see if we can't get Billy Wilder a fish here in a little while. Had a, had a few fish here around this tree, but I think I've spooked them and sore lipped them enough. They're going to quit biting. We're going to start making our way down through here in a minute hopefully not run out of cell my biggest fear was moving again i was going to try to go down here. here's another fish here's one for billy wilder i was going to go try to work these docks so i did real good on these docks the other day but if we're going to buffer it ain't going to do me no good to go down there on the live stream give me that give me that jig back there fish will you say thank you to billy wilder that fish says, thank you, Billy. Appreciate the support. Make another cast over there, I reckon. I'd like to, I'd like to get another psycho small. Yeah, that thing was a, he was a pulling man. Oh no, I just done it again. Jimmy Edwards, I just snagged that same, probably the same branch I was hung in a minute ago. We're going we're gonna to try to go get it too. Y'all don't, with well, the way this iPhone does the autofocus thing, y'all don't want to be looking at my hands while I try to tie a knot. Dead gum it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get this thing back. that thing at nah, we ain't getting that back well crap over let me let me back it up here get out of these trees here i'll tell you what why don't y'all y'all set up here a minute well, I thought I was going to. Let me, bear with me here a second, y'all. Bear with me here. I'm gonna set that up there a second here. I'm gonna get me another jig tied on. Y'all just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I gotta, I gotta do some retine. That tree right there was stingy. That tree said he wanted that jig. I don't know what that tree's going to do with that jig, but he's got it, and he ain't ever giving it up. So I got jig heads sitting here on my magnet. I don't know why this opened that tank box. <laughs> Just make no sense. Some of the things I do. I tell you, man, my eyes, I'm going to have to break down and get me some readers. I can't hardly see to thread this two pound line through the jig heads anymore. Hard time. Some of you is out there old enough to probably be dealing with that same thing. I got the tooth man 32 in here watching. I need the, I need the eye man 32 in here watching. Get me some. Get me some bifocals or something. Let me get another gulp on. I think we're going to be back in business. Y'all seeing live, raw, and uncut today. 
didn't intend for it to be that way, but it is what it is. Get another gulp on. We're gonna be gulping today. These fish are gulping the gulp. All right, we're almost ready. Catch another fish. We're back in the game. We're back in it, y'all. my hands off here oh man tooth man just hit me up again y'all what tooth man say he said here's a little for some new jigs can't stop the action man tooth man lord almighty he's hit me up good today thank you so much tooth man let me turn the camera back around here i'm gonna have to catch tooth man another one I ain't gonna catch it off this tree though. That tree right there is getting stingy with them jigs. Tooth man. Working on some teeth today. Oh my gosh, Cody Miller hit me up too. He says, stay safe out there. Gotta love sitting in a stand hunting and watching Justin on live. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Cody, I caught you something big right here, buddy. Good golly. There's, I mean, how do I hung up back to back casts? That is just bad, bad luck right there. I got the Judy on me today, y'all, the Judy. Come on, tree, give me that back. This tree right here, man, he said, he said that other tree got a jig. He wanted one too. Gosh, dang it. And <laughs> you got to laugh at it, folks. Oh, that's frustrating though. Get snagged up two times in a row on two different trees. <laughs> well, I'm eventually going to get away from the from the snags, and I'm going to catch I'm going to catch Tooth Man another fish, and I'm going to get Cody another fish. Let me try to thread the needle here. Oh, I, dang gum! And I had it through there. Drop the thing. Trying to see over this phone's a challenge too. There we go. Good gosh. That's always the thing too. When I'm doing the, the raw and uncut videos, I'm like, should I edit that part out <laughs> when I get snagged? I mean, maybe not the getting snagged part, but like the, you know, the retine, especially when something like this happens and you literally snag two casts in a row. If I snag a third cast in a row, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may, I may say a cuss word or two on this camera today. I've had situations before where I've literally, I've quit fishing for the day because I've just snagged so many times in a row. It happens. If you ain't losing some jigs when you ultralight fishing, you're doing something wrong. So apparently today, as many as I'm losing here, I must be doing something right, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can get back over here now and see if we can catch Tooth Man and Cody some fish. There's Keith Doc Reed in the house and Tiffany McConkey. What's going on? We got camera malfunctions out here today, guys. I was planning on trying out a new GoPro today doing a raw and uncut ultralight video gopro says screw you justin tears up on me so i said we're going live today so for those of you tuning in we're doing some ultralight fishing this morning got some bluegill I lost a nice smallmouth bass right at the kayak 
And now we kind of making our way down. I was going to go down the other direction here on the other side, fish some docks, but I started, as I started making my way down through there, I was buffering and I lost half the audience because of my poor cell signal. So we're going this way now where hopefully we'll have better Hopefully AT&T is shining brighter on this area than down there on those docks. All right, let me kind of get spun here. I'm gonna make some cast at them little trees dangling in there in the water. We've honestly got, I mean, you know, 130 people in the chat box right now that's not it's not a lot but it's more than what i thought for an impromptu live stream and here we go here's one of them fish that i was hoping to catch that's a nice one that's a nice bluegill right there let's get this one to tooth man he hit me with that second super chat gave me some jig money that nair tooth man 32 man I just, I just put a hole in this one's jaw too. He's gonna have to come book an appointment with you today. Get him some dentures there. Let's see if we can get one for Cody now. Let's see if there's another fish over there, maybe for Cody. There's another, there's somewhere down through here. There's a, there's a fish that wants to be dedicated to Cody somewhere we just got to work it around some leaves here to find him tooth man's a sandwich size that fish right there buddy he he don't know how lucky he is that he ain't going to a dinner table yeah i guess he is alone over there find that hard to believe but his friends his friends learned the lesson from him they saw what happened to him they're down there laughing at him making fun of him right now they're like we're we're not dumb enough to to fall for that old gulp trick i bet his friends were down there they were probably pointing that gulp out as it was falling down the the water column they're like go go eat that there's your there's your free meal and as soon as he bit it they were pointing and laughing in the corner we'd have an easier time if it wasn't for all these damn leaves the other side of the channel over there is even worse and I would imagine I caught one of them leaves too. There it goes. I would imagine today, once this wind blows through here, again, it's supposed to pick up here any time now. But I would imagine once it blows through today, we're going to have a lot more leaves on the water. I'm going to, when I get home today, I'm going to hop on the mower and mulch some leaves. I'm trying my best to stay on top of my did it last I think last saturday last, it was saturday or sunday i did some leaves at my house and i couldn't by tuesday i couldn't tell i'd even done anything oh man arkansas slim joined the catfish club everybody Thank you so much. Glad to have you, Arkansas Slim. Always appreciate these club members, especially this time of year when I don't, at least this year anyway, I ain't putting out as much content. I'm kind of scaling back a little bit. There's Steve Mosley. What's up, Steve Mosley? We're trying to, Steve, we're trying to catch Cody a fish here. I'm struggling in a bad way to do it. 
Try and take my time because I worry moving too quickly down here to, you know, go find another tree to specifically fish that I'm gonna buffer again. So we just gonna, we're gonna take our sweet ass time, make several casts along this bank and felt like a raindrop hit me. It might be a bird pooping on me or something. Something hit my ear. There's Ed from Oklahoma. What's going on, Ed? We in here today, Ed, just sharing our displeasure with GoPro. My new GoPro tore up this morning, Ed. Arkansas Slims had decided to pull the trigger and join. I'm glad you did, man. Means a lot to me. Uh, there's a community post or community tab on my channel, Slim, and um, it's got some discount codes on there. You know, it's not not a lot, but there's a 15% off code to Catfish Sumo for my club members, and there's a merchandise discount code, and right here's one for Cody, finally. We got you one, Cody. Cody's out there in their deer stand this morning. Hopefully having less technology problems than I'm having. Man, that thing's a... <laughs> Look at him go, man. He is... Oh, man, he's over there in my prop. Okay, he come out of it. Good. Boy, this one right here is a nice, nice gill. I mean, golly, bum. Look at this thing. This is the biggest one of the morning so far. Let me... Let me hold you up here, fish. Hold, say thank you for Cody for that huge super chat. Look at, the, look at the width on that thing, man. Look at the shoulders on him. Good golly. You nice, somebody would eat you, fish. You lucky I caught you, not somebody else. Get out of here. That fish there, he ought to be grateful. I don't know that he is, but he ought to be. Turn back around here. Cody says, awesome chunk. That was a nice one right there. I'd like to, I'd like to catch a few more like that. I'm gonna cast back over in that same general area. Yeah, thank you again for that super chat there, Cody. I'm, I'm glad we was finally able to get you a fish. And here's, oh. I had another hit right there. Missed that one. On Shackleford said he'd eat it. I ain't ate nothing yet today. I, I got up and I let Daphne out. And much to her displeasure i put her in the crate before i left she promised me she'd be good this time but i was like i know better dog you will choose something up while i'm gone that you're not supposed to so i stuck her in the crate and i headed out what's going on jeff gerald Well, let's keep making our way down here. Making our way in the world today takes everything we got. Y'all don't want me singing the Cheers theme song on here now. Just spun around here. I'd like to make a run down here to go hit some more brush, but I know better than to try it. I know better than to do it. Jeff, I got my Tennessee hat on right now. But today's our day, buddy. It's our day. We're going to... The whole world should know that we're the best team in the country, but there's going to be no doubt today. I don't know why there's any doubt. I mean, we just beat Alabama. We've, we've stomped everybody that's crossed our path. 
but we're going into Georgia today. Eight and a half point underdogs. I'm taking them eight and a half points and putting a little coin on Tennessee today because I believe in them. And we're going to show the world. And then we're going into that playoff. And it don't matter if it's Georgia again, Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan. I hope it's Clemson. I'd love, I'd love for Tennessee to play Clemson in the playoff. That, that's a win right there. But we're going, we're rolling. It's our year. I've drank the Kool Aid, man. What's up, Thumpaholic, Corey? Cody Quimby said he's a Hogs fan. We gotta get him a, gotta get him a UT hat or something. He's pulling for the wrong team. Come on, fishy. I know there's another one here somewhere. I know you're here. Yeah, Jeff, Gerald, I'm the same way, you know. I I wasn't too hyped for Hypel when we hired him. I'm like, well, it's another, uh, another like what we've had, you know, for the last 20 years. But he's won me over. I've been impressed with him. Oh, boy, something splashing right there. Uh, Derek Parker, I'm on DraftKings. That's where I've... I did... Uh, what was that one? I tried that MGM one. I didn't like it. I've been... I've had pretty good success with DraftKings. I don't... I don't... Uh, I haven't tried the FanDuel one yet. I know that's the other big one. Keith Doc Reed said a bunch of people on Muskrats Live. I don't know Muskrats. What kind of fishing does Muskrat do, Keith? Is he catfishing or he's something else? There's Mr. 405 from Oklahoma. Jeff says he uses DraftKings and FanDuel. I like that DraftKings gives them profit boosts out on uh, Tennessee games about every week. Because if I'm going to bet it anyway, I might as well boost some profits when I actually when I actually win one. I've had a pretty good year. I've I made two big bets before the season started on the NFL. I, I put a hundred dollars on Minnesota to win the division and I put a hundred dollars on Philadelphia to win their division. And both of those are looking good right now. And then regular individual games I mostly just bet like five bucks, you know, ten bucks. Tennessee, Alabama, I had a $40 bet ride. That was my biggest bet of the season because I was confident. We had we were getting so many points at home. I was like, that's that's a sure thing. But uh, I've had a pretty good year. I, I had $97 left in my account last year. And, of course, I added, you know, 200 there to cover those, the Philadelphia and Minnesota bets. But that $97, I just kind of left it to gamble with this year. Now I've got 200 and, I forget what I got, 216, I think. 200 and something. So I've, I've had a pretty good year. I haven't bet on a lot of games, but the ones I've done, I've, I've done pretty good on. My winning percentage is high for the limited number of games I've bet, but that Tennessee bet was a, a big payout for me because it had the profit boost. Keith says catfishing. Becca and a bunch of our crowd. Yeah, Keith, this was kind of just an impromptu thing this morning. I, I, I had planned on, I brought my new GoPro. I was like, I'm going to try out the new GoPro and 
do a raw and uncut video and then it tears up instantly. <laughs> so it's like, well, I'm out here. Just gonna fish for an hour or two. I might as well just let's just go live, see if anybody's on. There's always somebody on. And I ain't trying to coordinate around anybody else's live streams because you can't. There's somebody on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's somebody else live streaming anymore. So I ain't trying to coordinate around anybody. People that want to watch me can watch. And people that want to watch somebody else can go watch them. Yeah, Mr. 405, I got the St. Croix rod this morning. Yeah, Jeff Gerald, I tell you, man, it's been some, it's been a crazy year in the NFL. So many upsets. The Survivor League ended after week seven. <laughs> I mean, we lost half the league instantly. I went out on week one of our Survivor League. And the whole league, we had like 40 people, 40-something 40 people. And the whole thing was over by week seven, which is crazy. Normally, in past years in the Survivor League, we've had less people and went to week 12, 13, 14. So to be over in, in week seven is pretty crazy. But it's just been, it's just been wild. And who would have thought that Philadelphia would be, I mean, I thought they'd win the division. But I thought they were just the best house in a bad neighborhood type thing. You know, I thought Dallas sucked and New York sucks and Washington actually does suck. Well, I had no idea the NFC East would be one of the best divisions in football right now. And Philadelphia still being undefeated. The only team that's undefeated is crazy. Hey, thanks, Cody. Cody Reese hit me with a two spot. You're a good man, Cody. I think Cody Reese's super chat's gonna conjure us up a fish here. We're in a little bit of a drought. Making our way down here. We need some brush. So right now we're just hitting rocks down through here and I need some, I need another tree. If we find another good tree, it's probably gonna be stacked since there's been so much space in between here without anything. I know they fish on them docks the other direction because I caught some the other day, but when I tried going that way, we had some cell phone buffering issues. I lost most of the audience, so I thought I'd better just turn and go this way where apparently I have better service. Dumpaholics is any natural, unnatural, vertical structure well there's all kinds of stuff down through here that's falling off into the water um, I don't have my graph on this kayak but I'm probably sitting in 20 foot of water where I am and the bank just comes straight down now there's rocks that's falling off and trees that's falling off periodically down through here but that first tree that I started the live stream on you know, it, it was a big tree that had fallen over. And so it had, it had some fish on it. I got some, I got some leaves here. I'm catching some leaves. I'll catch more leaves than fish today. There we go. Oh, Jason Descent in the house. It's good morning, everyone. Hey, Justin, good luck and have fun. Thank you, Jason. Daniel Duran. He said he was watching those other fishing streams for a while there. I must share this with you by far. You're the best one on here. You always make it entertaining and enjoyable. Well, thanks, Daniel. I try. I don't always succeed, but I try. <laughs> Cody Reese says, good morning, Justin. Cool to see you live two days in a row. Philly is my favorite team. Oh, oh, Cody, here's your fish. No, nope, I just botched it. My drag went from super tight on the smallmouth to slipping the worst time. I'm going to get me a new reel. 
Cody said Philly's his favorite team and haven't even had a chance to watch them. Are you kidding me? It's the best. They're on fire, Cody. How, you got to make some time to watch them. I didn't watch them. Well, I, I watched part of the second quarter Thursday night. And then we flipped over and watched the Phillies Astros. But what I've seen of Philadelphia this year, they look legit. I mean, they look like they can hang with anybody. I'm going to be curious to see what they do in the playoffs. Jalen Hurts, who would have ever thought that he was going to turn into what he's turned into? No, Mr. 405, I didn't watch the – I try not to watch – I can't. I can't stand Oklahoma and Texas. I I keep up with them a little bit, but I don't ever watch them. Dumpaholic said it's like fit, sitting with a fishing buddy. Appreciate that. Hey, what's going on, John Duck? Uncool guy. It's his first time catching a stream. Hell yeah, I'm glad to have you, buddy. Hope you... I hope you stopping in brings us some good luck here and help me catch one. Trying to get, trying to get Cody Reese a fish here. I think I've got a fish for everybody who super chatted me thus far. I'm trying to keep that streak going. I had a little dry spell there and I caught another one and when, now we're back on another little dry spell. We eventually run into some more down through here somewhere. Yeah, John Duck, you ain't the only one, man. I've had a lot of people tell me that. Yesterday, before I went live, I'd planned on going live yesterday. And today's kind of impromptu, but yesterday I made a YouTube community post around noon and said I was going to go live, just trying to trying to give people a heads up best I could. But you know, it's kind of a it's a crapshoot these days of who's getting notifications and who ain't. Oh, thanks, Keith. He hit me with $2. He said he'll take a fish too. Well, I'm gonna see what I can do for you, Keith. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to find some here. I don't know what's going on. Right here. Oh my gosh, that was a tiny, tiny bass right there. He was as big as the gulp. We didn't want to catch that in no way. Tiny bass. That smallmouth I hooked earlier was a nice one. I'd have liked to have landed that one. Fought him all that time and he spits it right at the kayak. Oh, goodness, Lordy Days, Vivi Saldana. He says, good morning there, buddy. Just got tuned in here at Alcoa. He's over in my neck of the woods. Says, Hell, say hello. To West Texas. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Vivi. You over there, Alcoa. I'm in Lenore City today, so you about, I don't know, what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes away from me? You close, you close, Vivi. Y'all, Vivi's my truck driving friend from West Texas. Tunes into every live stream. He was in last night's live stream too. I hope you're safe on the road today, Vivi. I hate that you got to drive today. I know you're from Texas, but around here today's a big day in Tennessee because we play in Georgia today. And probably a, a spot in the playoff for whoever wins today. It's a big day. Vivi, I'm out here this morning trying to 
conjure up some fish on the ultralight. This has been pretty slow compared to some recent trips out. I haven't fished this stretch of the shoreline though. So I don't really know what to expect. I know there's fish down there on them docks behind me, but AT&T don't want us fishing down there. What's going on, Spider Skull? He's up there in Wisconsin. It's probably minus 12 degrees up there. Tiffany's watching college game day. Old Pat McAfee's on there. He's something else. I watched his NFL rant the other day where they had scolded him for not for using the logos. And I thought that's the wrong person for the NFL to be messing with. <laughs> I thought he will he will roast them on it, and he did. John Duck says at and is getting crappy nationwide. I believe it. It's what's amazing to me, and maybe it's just the terrain, what we have here in East Tennessee. But like, well, like, you know, out here this morning, where I started out on that tree, here's one. Oh boy, here we go. Let's get Cody's fish here. This is, this ain't a bluegill. That's another smallmouth right there. We got another small jaw. Let's see if I can actually land this one for Cody. What do you think, small jaw? We dedicating this one here to Cody. And I got to get Keith Doc Reed one next. But he about jumped in the kayak too. Did y'all see that? Let's get over here and land him. I got to be careful with this two belt line. I'm going to try to boat lift him. There we go. Oh boy, I got lucky. He just popped free last second right there. Last second. We got him. There you go. Cody Reese, that small mouth's for you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for that super chat there earlier. I hate that it took so long for me to get you one. You probably done clicked off a stream, won't even see it. Nice. There you go. It was nice. I knew when that one hit. I was like, that ain't a bluegill right there. But yeah, I was saying there, John Duck, the AT&T, it's like, I'm sitting there on that, that tree there when I started the stream and I got service and it's fine. And I go, what, 30 feet, 50 feet to the left and I'm buffering. <laughs> it's like... How can you have that much of a change so quickly? And I've seen that other places like, there's a creek just upstream from here. And I would love to go live in the back of that creek when the catfish are back there this time of year in the fall. And I've tried it before and I can't because I got one bar of service back there. But if I come out in that creek like a few hundred yards and get out toward the entrance of it, I got three bars. <laughs> it's like, what changes? How do you go from three bars to one bar in a matter of a few hundred yards? It, it just, it, it's, you know, I'm no, I'm no cell phone service engineer, but it just don't seem, it don't seem logical to me. It don't seem rational that you have that kind of change in such a short distance. So, I don't know. I hope they get their act together. I'm sick and tired of seeing these 5G TV commercials when I can't get 3G half the time. I don't think 5G is going to do a damn thing for me. My phone says 5G all the time, but it don't. I know good and well I ain't got 5G service. Well, Phil Carpenter here, he says the water refraction.
Oh, uh, Ted, uh, no, I ain't sold the live scope yet, but I'm probably going to. Because I just don't, I don't use it like I should. Here's a fish. That's another little bass. Oh boy, I almost feel bad. Keith Doc Reed was the next one up. Keith? <laughs> Does that count, Keith? Does that count as a catch? He's as big as the gulp. The autofocus on the phone can't hardly even, I can't even hardly zoom in on him there. This is the smallest fish of the day. Tiny, tiny smallmouth bass. Can I even lip this thing? <laughs> if we if we had a if I was in a tournament with a small fish pot, that one there is guaranteed to win today. Guaranteed. <laughs> I could have used that one. If it was if it was legal, I could have put that on the hook and catch something with him. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh good. Cody Reese seen he's seen his fish. He says smallmouth, one of his favorite fish to catch. He's got to go to the next county to get them, though. Here's here's a here's a better fish. Keith, Doc Reed, I'm gonna give this one to you here. That small mouth was too small. You need something a little bigger. Oh, that's a slab right there. That's a slab. All right, we own some fish again here. That's two back to back here. We had to go through a little drought, but by gosh, we got, we got on some now. Look at this thing, man. Oh, man. Keith, look at that hand-sized gill, man. Oh! About lost him overboard before I could really show him off. Holy cow. Calm it down, bluegill. Calm it down there. Nice, man. That is a nice gill. Look at how thick he is, man. This fish here ain't missed a minute. Look at his eyes, buddy. Is he is that fish ticked off or what? You can see it in his eyes, he's mad. <laughs> that fish is mad at me. He tried to give me the fin right there. Daggone fish. I'm going to throw back over. Let's two fish back to back. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get a streak going here. I got to get Vivi Saldana one next. Hey, we'll see you later, Daniel Duran. D Douglas Medlin, I should have dedicated that small, small mouth to pro moderator. That's the size of fish he catches. <laughs> I'll tell you something funny about pro moderator, Douglas. So last year he bought that, that Hobie from Jordan Marshall, the angler of the year. Hobie with the custom color job on it. And as soon as he bought that kayak, he went from doing really good in the tournaments to just stinking it up. I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't cash. He couldn't do anything. And so anyway, he, he, he broke that 360 drive on the Hobie, which everybody's breaking them. They're garbage quality, like everything else anymore. And so he broke it and he went up there to Susquehanna in Pennsylvania and he, and he took his other kayak and apparently got a, a crack in it, a hole in it, and it filled with water and he flipped and he had a, a, a terrible experience in that. And he finally gets the Hobie fix. He sells it to a guy here locally, another guy in the bass club. And the first time that guy takes the Eric's Hobie out, he tears up the drive again. <laughs> that Hobie, it's as jinxed as me with electronics. I told him there's some curse on that thing. He got him a he got him a new Hobie, a regular, not the 360, a regular one. Now he put a torpedo on it. I said it'll be two months before that thing tears up. John Duck said that bluegill put a cape on him so he could be super mad. <laughs> T 
tooth man said that Gil had some roid rage. He looked like it. He looked like he had been shooting up something. That's weird though, you know, that you'd think that fish wasn't alone. But I got that small mouth and the bluegill there off that little dogwood tree or whatever that limb merits fell off. And that's it. Other than that first tree that I started on, we got several fish off of it. But since then, coming down through here, it's kind of been a fish here, a fish there, kind of sporadic. Uh, bending ballistics, I'm on Melton Hill today. Uh, Derek Parker, no. You know, he's, he's plug, a plug power guy. And his dumb ass talked my dumb ass into getting some plug power. And we've been riding that loser into the ground. It's went from like $70 there a share at its peak to, I think yesterday it closed at 14 something. <laughs> it's talent, folks. Talent. You can't hide that talent. I'll come right out of that thing. Talk investigate stuff. Oh, that's what he's been tinkering with now. He's got a... Um, some properties he he buys these a uh, lots you know like city lots small vacant lots and stuff in the hood in knoxville and he'll put uh he's got a builder a guy that builds houses and they'll put a little house on that lot in the hood and people are buying these things basically sight unseen you know they're just buying a new house from up north and they're moving down here and you know I guess they get down here because the housing market's been to the point like if you if you list something, it's sold and it's selling for more than what you're asking for it around here. But then these people, I guess they come down from New York and it's like, surprise, you're in the hood. <laughs> you got a nice house in the hood. But Pro Modder, he's been doing good with that real estate stuff. Everything he's, every house they've built, they've been selling quick as they can get it done. Creepy pastas poet said you can't get more can't get more uncut than live. That's the truth. That's exactly what I was coming out here to do today, creepy pasta poet. I was gonna use my new GoPro 11 to film a raw and uncut video. Try it out today, and first time using it tears up. <laughs> it just just ain't meant to be. No, Bending Ballistics, I've never been to any of the TVA lakes. I think most of them are out west of me. Uh, Jalen, I don't know what time I got out here. I, yeah, I can't remember. I think I was fishing around, I think I got on the water around eight maybe. It gets, it don't get daylight here right now until 7.30ish, I guess. I don't know, my alarm, I had my alarm set for 6.30 this morning and I laid there a while and of course I had to take Daphne out and I switched over to this kayak. And so it took me a little while this morning to get up and get going. Brian, I'm on uh, Melton Hill today, and Jalen, the weather's perfect right now. It's warm, it's like 60 degrees. Here's a fish. We're finally gonna get one for Vivi. Vivi Saldana, my truck driving friend in Alcoa is getting him a slab of a bluegill. He's getting a slab, man. Another slab right here. These bluegill, man, they are fat and thick. This is what I wanted to catch out here today, man. I've been on a good bite with these things. Today's been kind of slow, you know, it's been a sporadic bite. I'm not getting, I'm not getting streaks of 10 fish in a row, but boy, when we hook one, that's nice. Love me some big bluegill. Thank you, Vivi Saldana, that one's for you, man. 
I was in that branch. I come right out of it. Talent, folks. I'm telling you, when you got talent, you got to show it off to the world. I don't know what I've done here. Good gosh. I'm bragging on myself getting that jig out of the out of the tree. Look at me now. I, done, I don't even know what the hell I've done here. What have I done? I've got some loop-de-loop -loop around my rod tip. I flung that jig back 100 miles an hour at my head. What the hell? <laughs> there it come. Can't make this stuff up, man. This is this is why I shouldn't be live and raw and uncut because people see this kind of nonsense. There, I got it. We <laughs> we in business now. No, I ain't either. I got to fix my jig back. <laughs> All you can do is laugh at it, folks. Just got to laugh at it. But, uh, yeah, Jalen, the uh, weather's good right now, but the wind is supposed to pick up any time today. It's going to be 20, 30 mile an hour gust when this front comes through. And so I had a window of time to get out and fish this morning, and I wanted to take advantage of it. And I knew I wasn't going to have enough time, or I didn't think I was, to go catfishing. And so I thought I'd just come out and do some ultralight fishing because I've been, I've been on a really good bite lately and I've been, been into it, you know. You get bluegill like I've been getting today and, and here recently. It's, I love catching bluegill, but I really love catching the big bluegill. When you get them eight plus inch fish that are just thick and mean, I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. Missed him. Had him and missed him. Let's flip this thing upside down. Let's see if we can buy another fish or two here with this gulp before we switch it out. Hey, what's going on, Levi? Brian Stivers. What's going on, Brian? John Duck said you botched that one. I love the uncut videos. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you like seeing my my failures there. Oh, hooks and hammocks, Chris. What's going on? This is Telly and I will be at Chickamauga April 12th to the 17th. He hit me with $5. Thank you, Chris. You're going to be down there at a good time. That's a... April's a great month to fish here in East Tennessee. I catch some of my biggest fish in April and May. April and May and then usually October, November, December. My best month. Right here you go, Chris. I'm going to dedicate you a fish right here. This one here is another, another quality bluegill. This one I don't think is as long as some of the others I've been getting, but he's another that's got some, he's got some height and some weight to him. There. I just put a hole in his jaw, too. He, he's going to have to see the tooth man today. Thank you for that super chat. Fish, tell Chris and tell he hi. He ain't telling you nothing. Fish said he's had enough of this show. He's That fish said he's hitting the thumbs down and unsubscribing. No, Mr. Wood, I've never been specifically targeting walleye. I've caught one in my life by accident. It was a skipjack fishing. I caught a walleye. Hey, thank you, James Shuey. Oh, no. Got myself snagged again. 
John Duck's gonna love this. I'm gonna get this thing free too. This, this tree, I set the hook pretty damn hard. I wanna get this one back. Goodness gracious. Watch me tie on a jig here. I got my magnet. That first one I broke off for some dumb reason. I got it. It don't make no sense why I do what I do. I was at 142. We instantly down to 137 when I start retying, man. They dropping like flies. Nobody wants to watch this. This is the part in the raw and uncut where everybody's fast forwarding. I know we're... Pick a set of winner. This one right here. That's the winner, man. That's going to catch us some fish right there. If I can keep it out of the trees, it's going to catch some fish. That's, a, that's beautiful. If I was a fish, I'd eat that right there. I'm glad I'm not a fish. I don't know what kind of fish I'd want to be. I think probably, you know, I'd probably, I think I'd probably want to be a buffalo if I was a fish. Cause they live a long time and nobody ever catches them. So I think, I, I think if I was a fish, that's what I'd be, a buffalo. I know, Brian Stivers, I needed that magnet yesterday, didn't I? We got them pliers back, though. It all worked out in the end. Hey, thank you, Nathan Eldridge. We trying. Levi went hunting this morning. He done got his hunting done. He's, he's at home. He's ready to watch the ball game. Justin's book, if I was a buffalo fish, what type of jig would I eat? <laughs> Chris Rumont's probably right. Like in, in my next life, the bad karma on me, I'll probably come back as a damn channel cat. I'll probably have one eye too. Many fishes I've blinded. <laughs> Abandoned ballistics, I was just thinking the other day, I'd kind of like to go up in the mountains and take my tinkara rod and, See if I could see if I could hook a trout or something. So I may end up doing that. Y'all can forget about seeing it though, because I know I ain't gonna have no cell phone service up there and I can't get a camera to work. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wood, I just use a little clinch knot, trialing knot, whatever it's called there. That knot's always done me right. That's what I use. It holds good on this two pound line. John Hendricks had a bison burger. I ain't never had a bison burger. Well, thanks for the offer, Bending Ballistics. I ain't fished Kentucky, but one time it was the Kentucky side of Del Hall. Got another leaf here. No, I didn't, creepy pasta poet. I didn't do worth a flip. I ain't. I've been hitting Melton Hill a lot lately for catfish, and I ain't done any good. I've got the other night after I filmed that ultralight video there where I talked about doing some catfishing out here. I caught a small flathead and a small blue. That was the only two bites I got. So I didn't, I didn't post the video from it. I just said, heck with it. You know, if I can't do any better than that, I probably don't need to post the video. Hey, we'll see you next time, Jimmy Edwards. Yeah, they some big carp in here, Josh. 
these carp in here too are they're these carp in here are pretty well safe from bow fishermen because they're usually too deep to, to shoot them. I, back in my bow fishing days, I'd come out here because, you know, the water's crystal clear and you can see, you know, and stuff. And, and you'd get some occasionally, but a lot of times, you you know, if you're bow fishing and a fish is more than four or five foot deep, your, your arrow speed slows down so much you can't hit them. And so these fish out here are pretty well safe from the bow fishermen and of course nobody there ain't nobody carp fishing out here so there's some big ones in this place hey there's old shad daddy y'all named ronnie oakley i just learned shad daddy's real name last night i stopped in pontoon jody's live stream and uh he was in there and all I've ever known him, he's a legend around here. Man, he stays on the skipjack. Catches a bunch of big catfish too, but I just learned his real name for the first time last night. <laughs> Keith Doc Reese is a guy named Toby needs to invite you jug fishing for Channel Cat on a pay lake. <laughs> That'd be right up my alley, wouldn't it? That's funny. Oh, man, Vivi Saldana's back with another one, y'all. Thank you, Vivi. He said, this super chat, just because you're my number one, my number one catfish, carp, bluegill, etc. fishing master, buddy. Thanks for all the techniques you teach me. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Vivi. I might have to catch Vivi another fish right here. Took forever to get him the last, so I'm going to get him another one. Thank you so much, Vivi. He's been a member for three months now. He's been supporting the channel a heck of a lot longer than that. Glad to have you as a member, buddy. Appreciate all your support, man. Vivi's truck driver. He's, a lot of these people that watch are truck drivers like Vivi. And what they tell me is they take these live streams, even if I'm not live, and they'll put it on when they drive. That makes sense, you know, I guess you can only listen to so many, so much music, you know, if you're in a truck eight, 10, 12 hours a day, you know, you gotta, you gotta put something on. Can't just listen to road noise the whole time. So I appreciate them, I appreciate them doing that. I figure there's gotta be a better podcast out there than me, but I appreciate them listening nonetheless. No, Josh, I didn't see nothing about, uh, I know Keith Doc Reed last night was getting some storms uh, where he was at, but I didn't, I don't watch the news or nothing. All I see, if I get on Facebook, which I get on there very rarely anymore, I don't hardly do much on Facebook. I deleted my business page, but the only news I get really is if I see something on there or somebody tells me something. Sometimes when I go down to my parents' house, they'll have the, the news on and I'll, I'll see something on there, you know. But otherwise, I try to, I try to be just completely aloof with what's going on in the world. <laughs> the only thing I try, try to keep track of is what's going on around me. I, I hope everybody in our audience is safe. They got hit with all them tornadoes. Let's, let's reel in Vivi a fish right here. I knew I was going to get him another one. That's another good one, too. Yeah, I wish I, wish I did better on catfish with bluegill, because I love catching bluegill. But I just can't really catch catfish. It's worth a flip on them. There you go, Vivi. Thank you again, buddy. That fish right there says hammer down is what he says. <laughs> oh there's my man brian stivers he's been a member for five months now 
I've actually got to, I've interacted with Brian so much that I can actually pronounce his name correctly now. He says, I used to do that in my truck, Justin, like an audio book and get you playtime. I, I appreciate that, man. I'm gonna dedicate this fish right here to Brian for getting me all that playtime. That's, that's back to back, that's two in a row right here. We got a streak going. We got a streaker happening here. Look at this, man, that's a nice one too. Hand size, buddy. Oh, oh, oh! That fish says hi and bye, Brian. He says hi and bye, cause he gone. I'll throw right back over there. John Duck been a member for 11 months. He says, wow, has it really been 11 months? I guess it has, John. It don't feel, time. this whole year has flown by. I don't know where time has gone. I feel like if it's fall, you know, we're into fall now. It's November. I, I don't even feel I like, did I sleep through spring and summer? I, I feel like I missed it. Oh, something hit me right there, guys. I felt thump. There he is. He come back for it. He come back for it. Let's dedicate this into John Duck for his 11th month here in the club. John Duck, you're getting another nice one too, man. There's some fish right here. The autofocus. There's that brown tree right there coming off into the water. That's three fish here on this thing. And if there's three here in our hand, we had, a, we had some sporadic catches down through here, but I think we may have. I've gotten back on some over here about this tree. John Ducks is nice. Yeah, Levi, you might. Not be right. In this body of water than the other bodies of water around me. You get some good bluegill occasionally on Fort Loudon or Watts Bar, but when I come and fish Melton Hill, I can consistently get on. See that slip right out on up here. I don't know if I can. he's Shad Daddy around here is a skipjack fishing legend. Catch, catching bait and stuff. I enjoy talking with him. No, oh, overboard before you you dancing around outside. Hey John Duck, thanks for tuning in today, buddy. You enjoy football today, man. Tim Hall, what's going on? Glad you could make it in here, Tim. I had some camera malfun to work. Then I'll just go live out here. Let me get me another gulp on here, y'all. That one out there got tore up by that fish. Oh, Shad Daddy's fish tore my gulp up. I don't know if Shad Daddy's still watching or not. I seen him there in Pontoon Jody's live stream last night. Had no idea what his real name was. Around here, we just all call him Shad Daddy. That gulp air is supposed to be smelt color, but it's solid white. Is that jig? Jig head's bent. Let me bend this thing back out a little bit. There, that looks better. That looks like we'll catch a fish. We finally own some over here again. Took a while. We had to we had to sort through some sporadic fish down through here, but we finally got on a what seems like a concentration of them again. 
Deontay says, I've inspired him to get a kayak, y'all. Means I've cost him some money. <laughs> Let me back up here, y'all. Oh, no. My mom says I'm buffering. Dang it. I tried going the other direction. Down there to them docks earlier and buffered. Well, so we started coming down through here. Finally get on some fish again. Now I'm going to start buffering. Boy, I lost a bunch of my audience, too. Lost damn near half the audience in here. I started buffering. I'm going to sneak back over here, though, and catch some fish. I got my camera mounting the way. Oh, Lord. Look what I've done now. I'm over two branches here, y'all. I just come out of it, though. What a terrible cast that was, but I'm lucky to get it back. Oh, man. All right, let me let me get back down here so maybe I won't buffer. Man, that's uh, I can't fish anywhere. Damn cell phone signal. Dead gummit. Let me let me get back over here. Yeah, I do. That's what people are telling me. I'm trying to get back down here. Maybe I can run into some cell phone service again. Dadgummit. You just can't, you just can't work out here with AT&T, man. Tim Hull says, buffering or not, he'll watch. I appreciate you. Tim. Unfortunately, when you buffer, it's pretty much game over as far as audience goes. Well, it says I got 101 people in here. I envy these people, you know, like Haz and Chunky, cats and stuff. They're up there on the Potomac and they go live all the time, wherever the hell they want and never buffer. And it's like, God Almighty, I can't. I can't go a hundred yards down the shoreline without buffering. Doing whatever. He says he sold his PDL 106 and thinking about buying the autopilot or the 106 MK. Yeah. That's a good question. I mean, it really depends on whether or not you're going to use spot lock. If you need spot lock, then go with the autopilot. If if you're just looking to get from point A to point B, I probably wouldn't go with the 106 MK. I'd just, I'd just get a, a paddle kayak and rig up a motor on it. That'll be cheaper on you than spending the money for the 106, because the 106 MK is like $3,000. And basically all you're getting is a 10-foot paddle kayak with a motor pod that's you know 45 pound thrust Minn Kota is what 150 bucks so I don't think it's a good value yeah yeah Douglas I've been buffering a little bit I ran out of I ran into some fish down here and ran out of cell phone service. <laughs> you can't have it all. You can either have you can either have cell phone service or fish out here in East Tennessee. It's one or the one or the other. You can't have them both. <laughs> I'm going to try my damnedest, y'all. I'm going to, I want to make it just a few more casts. I want to hit this tree here again, because we were catching some fish right here on this tree. 
Hey, we'll see you, James Shuey. Thanks for stopping in today, man. I want to see if I can catch another fish on this tree. That's where we were getting them others. And those were some nice bluegill right there. I don't like that. Doing whatever, I don't like that Johnny boat. Right here, we get back on that tree and catching some fish. My drag slips. Um, I just don't think it's a good design on the Johnny boat. I mean, to each their own, but the seat sets way too low in that thing. There's just a nice fish. Let's dedicate that into club member Tim Hull. That fish said he wasn't being dedicated to nobody. He's getting the heck out. We own some fish right here. Deontay, I live stream kind of sporadically. If I don't get a working action cam, Camera. I'm gonna be live streaming all the time. I can't film a regular video with the crap I shit the bed first time I use it. Another fish right there, another quality gill. I'm gonna throw back over there and get me another. We own a we own a concentration of them right here. Doing whatever, I recommend you go put your butt in the seat of a kayak, find out which kayak feels comfortable to you, feels stable to you, has storage space you need. And then and there's all kinds of motor mounts out there these days. Everybody's personal preferences are different. You know, I could. You know, I guess I could tell you a kayak, but you know, you may not end up liking it. You got, you got to, you got to put some seat time in. I'd go to a demo day, find a local dealer, and go to a, a demo day where they'll let you try out a few. Get some different. Try to get this jig back. I've snagged this tree, y'all. I have found me some snags today. Got that in back. I may have spooked all these fish though. I'm glad you liked that because he was getting out of here in a hurry. It's not cold. We got some nice weather other than the, allegedly the wind's gonna be bad today. That's what they're saying anyway. It ain't got bad yet. It ain't even blowing right now. I bet I spooked all them fish when I got on top of them there to get that jig back. A little bit further to the right, but I know I'm gonna buffer again, so I'm not gonna do that. Here. Thanks, at and We got some fish today though. I didn't, I haven't caught, I had high expectations coming out here, so I haven't caught as many as what I had hoped to get. But the ones I have gotten, the bluegill have been really good. You know, there's been some good quality today. Hey, thanks, Arkansas Slim, and thanks again for joining the club, man. I appreciate you doing that, buddy. Thanks for the support. Yeah, my mom mentioned Will and Lynn Loy there, longtime viewers, big supporters of the channel. They've had a death in their family, and going through a hard time right now. So if you're the praying type, you know, send them, send them some prayers. I know they'll appreciate it. They're good people. They're a big part of our community here. And I hate that they're having to go through what they're going through. I'm gonna make one more cast over there. See if I can tempt one of them fish that I probably spooked.
Tell you what I'm gonna do here in a minute, y'all. Since, for those of you just tuning in, a lot of people tuned in here after the fact, what I'm gonna do, Let me turn the camera back around. I'm gonna make a little run here, y'all. So I'll come out this morning, gonna do a raw and uncut video. Got a new GoPro, showed up yesterday, GoPro 11. First time using it, turning it on, it craps out on me this morning. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna go live. So live out here, got cell phone service, I work a tree, catch some fish on it and start working down to the left, it's gonna hit these docks. Well, I'll start making my way down through there, I'm buffering, you know, so. Fish this shoreline here, we've caught some fish, periodically. I get down here, I get on another concentration fish, start buffering, and so what I wanna do, I'm gonna go back up here, it's been a while, well, we've been live now, almost two hours. So it's been two hours since I've been up here to this first tree that I was catching them fish on first thing, got several fish on it. I'm gonna go back up here and hit it again and see if them fish are, since some time has passed, if, if maybe they've forgotten about me and if I can reintroduce myself to them. So we're gonna make a little run. I wish I could get better cell phone signal out here to be able to cover more water. I'd like to just kept going, you know, the direction we were going. I thought I was gonna be able to, but AT&T, man, is what it is, kinda. I guess it's just the lay of the land. You know, you got a big rock wall here. The other side's a big hill. You're kind of just down in a gully here. Beautiful out here. The cell phone service, very spotty. Hey, we'll see you, Jason Descent. Hey, there's Deanna. What's going on, Deanna? She said, I'm gonna lose my mind with not getting my notifications. Glad I at least caught you. Yeah, you know, it's weird, Deanna. It's, certain people's getting notified and some ain't and i don't know it's like there ain't no rhyme or reason with it you know it's just i don't get it i don't know how to fix it you know it's just it keeps happening it's been happening for months but i'm glad you was able to make it in here i tried yesterday because i had kind of planned a live stream to i made a community post there on youtube which a lot of people don't have that community post thing turned on so they don't see anybody's stuff. But I thought I'd try that, you know, and just kind of give people a heads up, try to. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna get down here and watch this, all these leaves, all these leaves are down here around this tree now. We're not even gonna be able to make a cast down here now. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. Let's try this. This is really dumb right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross the channel, y'all. I'm gonna cross the channel. I may lose you all trying to do this, but we're gonna try it. I gotta get some leaves out of my prop here first. Let's go over here to the other side and see the, see if we can find something to throw at that ain't covered in leaves. Goodness. Yeah, Keith Doc Reed, another person. Channel member, been subscribed forever, can't get any notifications. I don't get it. Yeet Outdoors says, if the GoPro 11 lags that bad, is it really worth it? It's not, in my opinion. I got one in my bag right now, deader than damn it. I literally, I, I got it yesterday. I did the update thing, you know. It's got the newest firmware. I come out today, first time I'm gonna film with it. Screen locks up instantly. I'll take the battery out, I put the battery back in, turn it back on just screen locked up won't do anything i'm like oh. i don't know i may end up just rolling with that dji camera it's not the best video quality the color is off on it but it works you turn it on and it films and that's kind of a big deal you know you got to be able to 
count on your equipment. And I for sure, I've had problems with the GoPro 10 and uh, the GoPro 11 sure ain't no better. So we'll see. My old Sony cameras, you know, they were great, but they just, you know, they're outdated. Can't use my microphone. 1080 is as good a quality as you get, and it's not that good. When I look at my old footage compared to what I've been doing this past year with the GoPro, it's it's night and day difference. I mean, the GoPros, when the GoPro works, the video quality is amazing, but it's just unreliable. Uh, Justin Bellamy, I'm on Melton Hill today. Oh man, Callie. Thank you, Callie. So just woke up to go to work. Guess I'll donate again, watch until you're done. Or I get to work, whichever happens first. Well, thank you, Callie. Yeah, Lord Callie, let's see, it's, it's 1045 here. I don't know if you're two hours or three hours behind me. Callie's working ungodly amount of hours out there, y'all. Penny, the wind is starting to pick up a little bit, but it's supposed to get bad here anytime. Um, they were saying mid-morning, it was gonna be 20, 30 mile an hour here. So I knew I had a short window to get out this morning. And I was hoping to get a fish, you know, that's why I want to do some ultralighting today because I knew I probably wasn't going to have time to do a catfish trip or a carp trip before the wind got bad, but I've had more time than what I thought I was going to have today. You're right, Douglas Medlin. That's the one thing you can count on with GoPro is that it will tear up on you. You know, most people complain with GoPro about the overheating. And it's been an issue for me too. But I find the, the overheating to be more tolerable than the screen locking up. Because when the screen locks up, you have to take the battery out. And so if you've got everything hooked up, you know, your media mod and your external mic, and you got it on a mount, you have to undo all that stuff to be able to access the battery. And so it's a real time consuming process. And then sometimes you get your footage back and sometimes you don't. And so it's just unreal. I've lost so much footage this past year. I've lost entire trips just from GoPro malfunctions. And so again, of the action cameras that I've used, GoPro is far and away the best video quality when it works. But when it works is a big, a big part of it. I think it's Colin Cowherd. I watch his show all the time. And, you know, he's talking about football players and stuff. He's like, the best ability a player can have is availability. And that's the truth. You can be the most talented, the best looking, the best performing of anything. But if you don't show up, you know, you, you just, you're no good to anybody. That's how I feel about GoPro. Hey, we'll see you, Ed. Hell, I didn't even know you're still in here. I I didn't know you're still in the stream, Ed. I thought you just popped in earlier to say hi. Yeet outdoors. Hell, he's still filming in 720. Well, I'm impressed with your ability to get views on videos filmed in 720. You must be putting on a, a damn good show. Oh, I had one hit me. Keith Doc Reed said hit the thumbs up button. Looks like we got 157 thumbs up. That's, that's more than I thought. I wasn't sure Saturday morning impromptu live stream, ultralight live stream at that. I wasn't sure if anybody had to tune in. 
Oh, my drag slipped again. I think I'm in a branch anyway. I thought I had a fish. My drag slip made it feel like a fish. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Vols are going to win today, Tim Hull. You better believe it. I'm pulling for them. Deanna, hell, she's saying the high 62, and she says that's cold. That's comfortable, Deanna. Deanna's. Deanna's house is probably 85 degrees all the time. <laughs> oh, Callie's back with another 10 spot. Says it's 9.50. I'm only an hour behind, but it'll be almost 9 p.m. before I get home from work. So this is a good way to start the day. I, I, I didn't know y'all was central time there, Callie. I thought you would be a couple hours behind at least. Thank you for that super chat there, Kelly. I was I guess I was thinking you all were farther west than that. It's gotta be hard living in central time. You know, I think Eastern time's good because that's what all the shows are. You know, TV shows and sporting events, they're all kind of on Eastern time. Pacific time would be good because you could basically wake up on a Sunday morning and start watching football because you know, East Coast is so far ahead. But the Central and the Mountain Time, and I think Arizona, I think they got like their own time zone or something. Like they don't do the daylight savings time. I don't know how people can keep up. Like, you know, when a, when a sporting event's coming on, I got to know what time it is. Tim Scott ain't got no power or internet there in Indiana. He got he got cell phone signal though. He's got better cell phones. He got no power or internet, but he still got better cell phone signal than what I got out here today. <laughs> the wind just come out of nowhere, y'all. Did you see that? The wind just started here. Just like that. Hey, thank you, Tim Hull. He's been a member for 13 months. It says go Vols. I appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate you sticking with me so long. I hope them Vols get the win today. I'm betting on them. I'm going to take them eight and a half points. And, but I want them to win outright. Switch sides of the bank. I may have should have stayed over there on the other side. Yeah, I'll look into that, Jeff Ryan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find me a new reel. I'm going to... It needs to be good quality and it needs to be on Amazon so I can earn a commission on it when people buy them. Boy, that wind here, y'all, it just come out of nowhere. Well, I didn't know Hawaii didn't do daylight savings time either. Callie's full of useless information, y'all. She knows all about the, the clock schedule. I had heard about Arizona, but I didn't know Hawaii was like that. Of course, Hawaii is so far west of us, I don't even know what time zone they would be in. Man, oh man, y'all, our ultralight day may be over here. That, I knew today the wind was gonna pick up because they had been calling for it, but it just literally come out of nowhere. Like it was fine a few minutes ago and now it's rolling. Hey, thank you, Stephen Chisholm. Kelly said they'd be six or seven hours behind me. Yeah, I guess they would. They're way out there. Yeah, y'all, this wind's probably going to do us in here. I don't know if I, even if I get a bite, I don't know if I'm going to feel it with the wind blowing like it is now. I'm trying to keep my line closer to the water here. Yeah, Deanna, I thought I thought there was some law going in next year that they were going to just do away with the whole daylight savings thing. 
nationwide, but who knows if it'll actually happen. I just want, I don't care what time we're on. I just, I just want them to leave it alone. Just leave it be, you know. I prefer to have more daylight in the evenings, but that's just my preference, but I just wish they'd just leave it, leave it be. No, y'all. I may not have should have switched to this side of the bank. I thought. I thought over here we might still have cell phone signals since I'm kind of in that same same range over here, but same stretch of the river. But may not pan out. I ain't gonna be able to feel nothing with this wind. Yeah, Tim. I can't believe it's been you've been watching me 13 months now. Either been in the club 13 months. I don't know how anybody can watch this crap. But some of you have been with me for years. And some of you have literally watched every single video that I've ever put out. Hey, what's going on, Josh Wagner? Yeah, Keith Doc Reed's got a good point. There's only so much daylight no matter what they do with the clocks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> don't uh, Keith, don't be providing this common sense and logic in here. You know none of us will understand that. <laughs> I wish that wind would just give me a few more minutes here. I just, I, I set the hook on that leaf as I felt a little resistance and flung it plumb up over my head. Hey, thanks Jeff Ryan. I'm glad you like them, man. I had hoped to film one today, but had to go live instead. Hey, thank you, Michael Jacobs. Appreciate you watching from Peoria, Arizona. I sure would like to get a few more fish here, but I don't know if the wind's going to allow us to do this much longer. Creepy pasta poets become a Taylor Heineke fan. He, I mean, he is more fun to watch. And call. I'm not a Carson Wentz fan, really. A Heineke is a better story, for sure. Step Brian Stivers just keeps trying to break the universe using logic. <laughs> now, thank you, Rondale. We'll see you later, Josh Wagner. Yeah, Jeff, I'm not going to do no long line and today i was hoping to just get out here and catch a few fish on the brush and stuff until until the wind hit today and it looks like it's about to get going we're supposed to have some 20 30 mile an hour gusts today so i was gonna come out here catch me a few fish and, and go home and mulch some leaves up mow them down until it's time to watch a ball game and then about 3.30 today, Eastern time, for those of you in, in Arizona and Hawaii, 3.30 Eastern time, I'm gonna watch my Tennessee Vols stump a mud hole in Georgia's hind end and secure our place in the SEC championship and secure our place in the playoff. Because it's our year, in case I ain't mentioned it today. We in a slump over here on this side of the shoreline, y'all. We in a slump. Those of you that's tuned in late, I've been 
catching some big bluegill out here this morning. Hooked a nice smallmouth, which I lost at the side of the kayak. Got another smallmouth, a smaller one, later on, but that was on the other side of the shoreline. And I've switched over here, trying this side. I haven't caught anything since I moved over here yet. Jeff Ryan says they're getting 45 to 50 mile an hour winds in Indiana right now. Oh man, I've got something big then. Let's see if I can get it back. If I break this one off, we go into the house. I've lost about 10 jigs out here today. Got it back, got lucky. Didn't even bend my hook on that one. Yeah, Rondell, I don't have anything planned right now. I kind of just been messing around, taking some time off and stuff on regular videos and trying out new cameras and stuff. Thought I'd, thought I'd, you know, try out this GoPro 11 today. What a mistake that was. That thing's going back. I don't know. I may go live again. I don't know, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I kind of want to, I had such a good time last night. I just put a, boy, I did. I put a jig in another tree over here. That gum it. I broke that and off. But I had a good time going live last night to air catching all them big carp. And so I think I'm going to probably do that again Monday or Tuesday. Maybe try to hit that same spot and see if we can get back on them again. But, uh, Guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up out here. The, the wind is going to get worse throughout the day here, as many of y'all are experiencing where you're at. And it just kind of, when I switched over to this shoreline, the wind just kind of kicked up over here. And uh, it's already blowing enough that it's blowing, it's blowing a bow in my line. I really can't feel anything. And so it's going to make it hard to catch any fish. And this right here is all these leaves on the water over here too. It's like this tree right here, you can't even hardly make a cast near it over there because of all the leaves bunched up on it. So I think I'm gonna get off here, take it to the house, go mulch some leaves. And again, get ready to watch that ball game today. Wherever you at, go Vols. It's our day, buddy. It's our day. If you betting type of person, if you like to bet eight and a half points, I'm just saying it's a lock. We got this eight and a half points. That's money all day. So uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in today, everybody. I appreciate all the super chats. Um, all my club members, thank you. You know, Again, wherever you at out there, uh, again, Will and Lynn Loy, big supporters of my channel, um, always in the chat box, club members and stuff, having a real hard time right now. So wherever you're at, say you have some good thoughts and some prayers for them. And uh, I don't know. You know Y'all want to do it again Monday or Tuesday. I'll just, we'll plan on some carp fishing or something out there where I was at last night and see if we can catch some more because I kind of want to. So anyway, y'all have a good day. Again, 